I'm Dr. Depeche Navsaria. I'm chair of the American Academy of Pediatrics Council on Early Childhood. The AAP has a new policy statement that encourages pediatricians to support families reading together. And it's a message I love. It is never too early to start reading to a child. We actually believe that you should start reading at birth. You might think that that's too early, but the fact is, children love hearing the sound of your voice. They love the touch of being in your lap, of looking at something together. We know that brain development and learning start at birth, so why not start reading that early on? When I walk into a clinic room with a book in my hand for that child, what I often see when I give the book to that child, I'm watching to see what are they doing with it? Do they take the book? Do they turn it from maybe if I hand it to them upside down, do they try to turn it the right way up? And again, I don't expect all kids to do that, but as they get older, they should be doing that. Do they toddle over to their parent and hold it out in that read to me gesture, right? That tells me volumes. That child is telling me, I know what this thing is. And I know that if I bring it over to you, parent, you might lift me up in your lap and we'll look at this book together. And I want you to do it. It tells me so much about the strength and the health of that relationship in that family. People often think that we give board books to young children because they're tough, right? They're gonna mouth it, they might throw it, they might tear the paper pages, and all of those are true. But I wanna tell you a little secret here. The thing is, children don't develop a pincer grasp. You need a pincer grasp to be able to turn paper pages. So that doesn't work so well. You're gonna be frustrated and you might tear them accidentally. Board books are a marvelous piece of engineering that are designed exactly for the age that need them. Look what happens. These pages are thick. You can bat at them when all you have is that palmer grasp when you're young and don't have that pincer grasp yet. And let's look at what happens when you turn a page and you push down on one by batting at it. Oh, the next one pops up. This is designed and engineered beautifully for someone who doesn't have that fine motor pincer grasp yet. It's an incredible piece of engineering that's designed for exactly the child that needs it. So the interesting thing is that young children, and by young in this case, I'm talking about kids that are two and under, they don't recognize that letters and words and sentences are actually telling the reader what to say when you read a book out loud. So what ends up happening is they think that you're reading it all just by looking at the pictures. But the average three-year-old who's been read to and been around books starts to get it that, wait a minute, those little funny black marks at the bottom of the page, there's some connection there. That's what we call print awareness. And then they realize that, hold on, these things are telling you what to say, and they start to become curious about those in different ways. So a child who's been read to or, and has these experiences starts to recognize that words convey meaning, that print conveys meaning, and it's an important watershed moment for their development. A term that we're using a lot now is relational health, which is the, the health and strength of the relationship between people in a family, particularly a parent and caregiver and a child. And what we know is that when families spend time together doing things like reading, but also talking, singing, playing, having experiences together, um, even cooking together or working on the laundry, it doesn't all have to be, you know, the fun stuff, so to speak. Those build strong, supportive, nurturing relationships. We know that those are one of the most important things in a young child's life that really affects their, their trajectory over their whole lifetime. We know that it's hard. We know that parenting is challenging. We're all juggling many different things. But when you do these things every day for even small amounts of time, it does add up and make a big difference. 